a veteran, a three-time world title champion in the way of Taylor Jensen against another upstart from Queens on the south shore of Oahu, another upstart from Hawaii, Kaneala Stewart. I love this matchup. We're going to have power in the way of Taylor Jensen versus the smooth style and footwork of Kaneala Stewart. Again, chicken skin. Well, here we go, Kaneala Stewart now up and riding, representing Hawaii in this final. It gets to the nose. And that style just oozing from the lanky Hawaiian surfer, also from Queen Surf Break, makes his way again to another five, skates through this flat section, and a light-footed rebound on the inside before ending up on the shore. So Kaniala Stewart, that's going to be his start to his matchup against Taylor Jensen. Again, to see how quick footwork. Look where he's actually trimming on the other side of the stringer when he's going right you see the footwork is over on the rail side holding it in and then again onto the tip all this work just keeping the glide roller coaster from the midpoint of the board once again and then we've seen some windswell that goes the other way so we've had sets but both directions taylor jensen and a quick cross step to the nose for five and stays steady through this flatter water on the inside unable to make the connection to the shore break gonna have to commit to the inside in this one taylor says no dice there's not enough energy for me so i'm gonna kick out kaniala perched on the nose for an extended period of oh. time and unfortunately seems like he got a little greedy on that tip time and it cost them over committed wave number one it looks like a two-wave set and decision time for taylor jensen he's gonna go on wave number one here we go Fade into the right and gets a 10, arching through that hang 10. Powerful turn, signature move for Taylor Jensen. Cross-stepping and getting into the planing area of the board to connect the dots from the outside to the inside. Pushing down on that rocker and makes it to the inside again. Oh, some beautiful tip time there and a finish. So you talked about a breakaway score, Peter. I think we just saw that. Bottom turn. It's not really even a bottom here. It's almost a stall, but and then jumps to the tip. And look at that. The style arches his back. And then this cutty. And look at the arm placement. Drives through it, too. You know, held the rail through the maneuver nice and smooth. And then actually pulls that arm up over his shoulder. A little extra accentuation. And then this here had to make that inside section. And look at back on the tip. And then the little swivel on the tip. Control with a finish. I mean, this is going to be a magnificent number for Taylor Jensen. We get to watch also on this one is Taylor Jensen. So different peaks. Priority was with Kanyala. Wow, nice little driving turn there. We saw him quickly run to the front of the board at the very beginning of that way, but really the outside move was that turn. I really like how Kanyala is able to move his board through that midsection. Kaniala, pier bowl on the nose, has to step back quickly. Little bank on the oncoming whitewater. Now some footwork through this middle sec transitionary section. And cross step to the nose, gets the 10, ten. and ten. soul oh, arches through that 10, hangs on to it, and gets the finish, Kaniala Stewart. He's always moving left then right he's committing the rails through it not just a uh, gliding straight he actually moves back watch you see him he just goes up to the front of the board and then he'll transition the in inside rail and then he'll go back to the other rail and that was pretty cool right there especially That's when he gets 10. to 10 and is able to pull it out on the paddle stewart going left this time cross stepping up Five there, has to skip through some slow water, gets back on the nose and hangs there for a bit before redirecting on the inside. Smooth cross step cut back and weaving through a flat section back up on the nose for Connie Allen Stewart, pressing down on the nose and stepping back on the board to control the finish. Stewart, here's the replay. This was the last wave. We haven't seen this score yet. But, I mean, I felt like, to me, personally, Kanyala's wave was a little better than Taylor's in my eyes. That's just my opinion. It came on slightly under. But watching this one here, outside work. Wasn't able to get the full tip time 
but that was beautiful. A little swivel on the nose, pressing as you had mentioned. And the waves are starting to turn on. Here we go. Big set wave here, too. Taylor Jensen on the nose and pearls there. So missed opportunity for Jensen, but quick hands to grab that board and not lose it. Yeah, and here we go on the replay of Connie Alice Stewart, Peter. Again, that beautiful walking up and down the board. So nice from Kaniala. He stays with this one. Even during the midsection, he's able to walk up and down that board. Just glad. Back to live action. Caught, catching up with Kaniala Stewart. Smooth through the middle. Nice redirection. And now planing through some dead water. No problem. He makes the connection into the shore break. And great footwork finishing off there. Kaniala Stewart again. Needs a very good score of a 7.84 for Stewart. Smooth, silk. He's actually moving up and down the board at the same time. Just gliding. Look at that. Ooh, 10 out there on the back part of it. I like that. On the backhand. You see this little moments where he just looks at it. It's following the energy of the wave and able to get to the tip. Even on the mid part, just gliding in. Again, just such great footwork. And it's nice. He just gets on the tail at the appropriate time. Here we go. Stewart with an opportunity, but not a lot going on this wave. Gets up to the nose, taps a five. Nice redirect, nice drop knee. Some cross foot steps there. Gets more nose time coming through here. Needs to get lucky in the shore break. Five, spins around, tries for the switch stance, which would have been brilliant, but the wave got away. Against that pier, there's definitely the agitated water, which is always so hard because the water is actually moving out as a current against him. So, I mean, it really not didn't get low like we saw early in this event. So we watch the replay here. He had to transfer over to that section, and that's where his footwork really started. But you can see right here is where all that water moves out underneath the pier. Oh, that was such a brilliant Creates a lot attempt. more friction. Taylor Jensen is going to use priority right now. That is definitely a paddle. Here we go. Taking it left. And just has to trim there. Kicks out. Well, there's the first defensive move I've seen so, <laughs> from yeah. Taylor Jensen. That was certainly a defensive move. And Connie Ellis Stewart gives thanks before he paddles into this wave. Now it's all Connie on the nose. The soul arch through that section. Explosion there, a little unstable water. No problem for Connie Alice Stewart. He needs to stick with this as he stays in the white water, reading the bump, heading on to the inside. Connie Alice Stewart cross steps his way to another tap of a five on the inside here. Has to straighten out as the wave doubles up. 7.84, it's a big ask, it's a big number. And Connie is just going to step off on the sand. I love that he gave for the thanks, best. that he was like, Hey, give me the opportunity. That's that's all you can ask for. Good size wave. Look at that's full on shoulder high on the tip. Was able to get quickly back. Keeps his balance. Engages the rail. And again, I love this mid work from Kanyala. Just so good at transferring his weight through the rail on the tip again. Wow, he's definitely gonna have those judges think about it. So it's Taylor Jensen, your 2022. Vans Duct Tape Invitational Champion.